to Joy Fido International. You know, we have this new way of chatting with you about what's happening in our life and all the things that make us who we are. And as usual, we love to share with you. So hence we come with all these new ideas and about health, about wealth, about beauty. So we call it WHB, Wealth, Health, Beauty. And under beauty, we have so many things going on. Under beauty, we have makeup, we have fashion, we have different ways of looking at things, which will be coming along as we progress with the ideas that are coming to us. So as part of beauty, today we're going to be talking about fashion. And the fashion we're focusing on today is the African traditional fashion. I'm sure you've noticed the amazing different attires, the African fashion has brought to the fore at the moment. Everyone's getting all excited wearing different things. But unfortunately, there's still a side of the African fashion that's been hidden away. And that's the traditional fashion. And that's where my huge passion is. I have a major, major passion in African traditional fashion, which there are so many images. If you bother to check on my um website not website on some of the things we do like there was one i went to ascot and i did an amazing headgear and everyone was looking at it and asking how did you do that so this is why this program is coming up to you now we're coming up with so many different ways of teaching you it's all about empowering you again and sharing with you but empowering you because there are lots of africans out there who would love to dress in the traditional outfit but they have no idea how to go about it and then we also have people who were born and bred in the UK, in the US, and of course there are still so many people in Africa itself who don't even know how to tie some of these traditional outfits. So as usual, I'm lucky enough to know how to do these things. I just call myself a, a woman of so many skills. So whenever I know that something I know is being sought after, I come to you with them. Because that way I can address so many people than just to keep telling one or two people this is how you go about it. So hence we're having this video today. So welcome on board and watch us show you what we know about how to tie the African headgear. That's what it is. We're tying the African headgear. But this particular one is going to be focusing on a type of African fabric called Ashoke. So if you're African and maybe Nigerian and Yoruba in particular. So are you African or Nigerian in particular? Are you related to an African person? Like if your partner is African or your friends and your family are related somehow to the African people? Do you just simply love African culture and you've always wanted to know how to dress like one? And Because we're full of glamour. The African fashion is so glamorous and so colorful. Now the interesting thing about this is when you hear Africa, lots of people just think Africa is one place. It's not just one place, it's a continent. And this continent is full of so many countries. I'm not bothered to count how many countries are in Africa. But I come from Nigeria in particular and even in Nigeria, there's so many states, just like you have the United States and so many states, we have states in Nigeria. And I come from the eastern part of Nigeria. But the interesting thing about how I value or love the African fashion and culture is, I am so in love with the fashion from Africa, and Nigeria in particular, that I could dress up in any particular culture. Now, like I was saying, every area in Africa got different cultures that stand out and their traditional outfits are varied but the one we're showing you today is a particular one of the Yoruba people I'm not Yoruba so if you're Yoruba then you think I'm not doing it right well sorry but the whole idea is to empower those who have no idea how to go about this and they've always been asking me how do you do it it's just a hobby and a passion and I love it and that's why I do it because I just love the glamour that it brings on board when I dress this way. So that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna show you how we tie the gele, it's called in the Yoruba language, and it's a headgear as far as anybody else is concerned. So I'll show you some of the accessories we need when we dress up like this. So you can see that I've worn my lovely earrings and I've worn this 
lovely necklace and if you see my hand I got some bangles so there are lots of them still here so lots of bangles which I'll be wearing once I've completely finished the main thing which is dressing in the headgear and then my lovely bag like I'm ready to go out and lots of this is a brooch that's gonna go on the ghillie and then as usual we love to wear lots of rings when we dress up in the traditional outfit whenever I think of African fashion or traditional African fashion what comes to mind is the Indian culture as well so if you notice the Indian people in particular there's a magazine called Asiana I love the Asiana magazine because it's the same kind of thing we Africans do they so it oozes glamour and oozes lots of brooches and necklaces and you name it is all about jewelry and you know like in America you say bling up we blingly we really really bling up when we dress up in a traditional outfit so you're gonna see a similar thing today but as usual as we progress you're gonna be seeing more and more and more and what you tend to do is once you've dressed up and you go for a particular color like my focus today is all about the gold color you find that most of the things I'm wearing has some kind of gold in it I'm not saying everybody must dress in this particular way but if you can decide how you want to make yours look but I have a habit of focusing on a particular color at a particular time and so you're gonna be seeing me in my lovely lovely African outfits which I love so much so again keep watching okay so getting started we have you can see what i'm wearing it's got another piece that i'm tying on my waist and that's called the wrapper when i finish and i stand up you see the whole entire outfit in its entirety so first is the the blouse or the top that you would like to call it then it comes with a two-piece and this two-piece one normally you just throw it in your shoulders when you finish which I'll, cho I'll show you once I'm ready with that but what we're fo focusing on today is how to tie the headgear so this is my headgear piece you probably will be asking me which particular piece do you go for with the headgear I usually go for the narrow piece not the wider one because the wider they become the more difficult they are to tie so you see how long they are and you see how beautiful they designed this particular piece you see little bits in them another interesting thing is people are going to ask me where could I find things like this from we are going to be stuck in everything we start showing you so whenever you're interested in anything just let us know and we'll give you the email address that so you can always stay in touch with us so once you have your piece with you something I want you to know quickly before you start getting involved with this get something like this it's just a regular pin but the beauty about this pin is they have colors at the tip of them and I'll take them out and show you how that works for me because I was in Nigeria in September and I had to go to an occasion and I had to dress up and I was looking for pin all over the place and they were like oh we don't have any pin for me it helps me a lot and somehow I had to just try my best to dress up the way I could it came out extremely nice people were like really talking about it and they were taking pictures of me but I was in that confident about it because when I don't have the pin I feel it's going to fall off my head so that's why I'm recommending get a pin and again if you don't know where to get them I would happily supply you with pins so there it is now two choices you can see I'm wearing my long braids quite long and full so what you have to do if you find you're wearing braces is to tuck them all away. So I've taken a hairband and I've just tucked my braids all the way to the back. Now I'm ready with my headgear. So I got it, two options. You look at your face and you decide how do I want this to look? Do I want to really highlight my face and let, let people really see the full length of my face? Or do I want to cover it up a bit? Now people who have like really long face choose to like narrow their face a bit so it looks really pretty that they don't their face is sort of like broke down a bit 
but I tend to like really showing off my face because again I think my face is not that long so two ways about it if you wanted to narrow your face down you just go down like that and then we'll play with it but I'll go for the way I like it first and then you can no let me play with this first so that we'll finish out with the way I like it so I've taken the fabric and I've just placed it over my head you notice I folded a little bit of this of the tip so I get it in and I sort of just put it over my face see how it's going then I bring the two together the two pieces together if you notice I'm actually looking in the mirror so I can see what I'm doing and then so I've just brought the two together that was it and then it's come together And at this point you can decide how you want to glamorize it because remember this has got lots of beautiful designs on it so you want to like let people see what kind of designs they've got sometimes tying these things could take really long some people really sit by their mirror for hours so you see what I've done this is where the pin comes in okay so once you've just turned both of them together you just take the pin that's the colors at the end of the pin and you just try and pick the two ends of the head tie together so this is the two ends and I just pin it together And that's the first pin and then I'll lift it again anywhere else if I wanted the thing with my head head ties is I like them really bold so I'm the very bold and visible person so you see how that has just held it in place without me doing much of anything now another thing stopping me being very creative is the braids that I'm wearing because my braids is really big so it's blocking it but as far as I'm concerned if I was going to an event this is perfect enough for me to go with so if I wanted to sit a lot more firmer I just get more pins and really hook them in place so they don't they don't become too loose on my head again be careful with the pin because you don't want it to go and prick your fingers yep so i've got it nicely in place now it's all snugly in place now this is me starting my glamour i then get a brooch and then i hook my brooch in place i do this a lot and people get really excited like wow so i take a brooch and i just pin it somewhere really nice where it's very very visible so people can see what i've done And this is um, my way of doing things it's it's not like this is the tradition different people do it differently so here we go so there you have it with my lovely brooch in place and I love really bold brooches as well so it stands out in your face and so you can really see me now whenever I go to some of my networking events and it's meant to be really really dress well look the, look the part I make sure I stand out when I dress in my traditional outfit that way no one will say they didn't notice me because once you dress something in a way that's completely different from everyone else you will be noticed and that's my little secret I make sure I dress completely different from everyone so I'm noticed I don't want to blend in like everybody else 
I always skip out of the box. I want to be out of the box. That's me. I don't like people closing me in. So that's the way I love to dress with my headgear. But this is my other way of dressing when I'm not feeling like my own typical way of dressing. So I'm going to take this down and I'm going to show you the other way I really like to tie my headgear. Okay, so this is my other way of doing it. Remember the first way I brought this bit that I folded in a bit on my face? I went like this. Now I'm going to take it to my back. So that bit that I folded is at my back and I'm going like this. See the two ends? The other way the two ends went to the back but the two ends are coming to my front now. So, see what I mean by it lifts my face up because I can now decide how far I want my face to be shown. So I really, really lift it up. And what it does, it actually helps to highlight my eyebrows. See that? And then I can now tie it to how I like it to be. Now most times we have so many other fabrics that we use our headgear, so this is a bit short for what I really love to do. But, and again it's because of my braids, I'll try my best to make this as lovely as I want it to look. Yeah, there's so many ways I play with it. So th this is another option I'm just thinking of. So I take the two ends, one short, one long, and I just wrap the short one over the long one and push that in. That's gone in. Now I can play with this one, whichever way I like to play with it. And what I could do with this, if I wanted it to really stand out, I could really have it hanging all over me like that without really doing anything to it or I could just play with it a bit more and fold it in a bit more taking the longer piece and I can wrap it around myself a bit wrap, wrap it around the shorter piece and push it in And once that's done, so that's looked a bit like a turban, and then I cannot take the pins and hold them in place. Push it down a bit and hold it in place. Be very careful with these pins because they're very sharp. And then I can now bring my brooch and just put it anywhere that I want it to really sit and stand out. Another thing I forgot to mention is, yeah. And so there that is. But if I was going out today with this, there's another way I'd rather have to like to wear this. Thing is, when it comes to tying headgear, I am so full of what next, what next, what next. So I don't stick to the one thing. So I would have loved to have it like this. Let it just drip over me. So this is sitting in and it's holding it really firmly. So while that's firmly in place, I hold it down with a pin. What I was saying I forgot to mention is we're very colorful people. And so 
you're gonna be seeing lots of colors I mean when I came to England years back and I saw just black like all our winter jackets are black I always used to opt out for the red and if you notice I wear a lot of red because I can't deal with dark colors they just make you sad and depressed all the time so the brighter colors make me happy and so I'll do something like this if I was going out today I just rolled the short one round it and I took the long piece and I've just dropped it down I'll just push it down a bit more and let it just flow yeah that would have been me and then I'll take my brooch and put it somewhere really nice And that's it so this would have been my outfit going out today because it stands out all that length dropping over me I just look like a princess and that's how I love to look with my traditional outfit so like I said you're gonna be seeing more on this but let me show you then what I would do with my accessories so this is me in my complete African traditional outfit Iran Buba as we call it so if you look you see my wrapper now the beauty of what they've done here is they made the wrapper a bit darker and then the top and the head tie and the scarf are looking similar color but they blended it so well that you really really appreciate the beauty of this so then look at my hands with all the colorful jewelry and my fingers and if you attend any of our African Nigerian traditional wedding or events this is how you see us dressed completely all blinged up and the necklace and the bag to match so today I decided to go with the gold design so everything in here is looking a bit gold colored so that's the full outfit, the scarf, the top, the headgear, the wrapper, and of course any shoes that takes your fancy. Most times you want to match your bag and your shoes together, just to give you the kind of uniformity. So that's why I chose this shoe. Again, it's up to you whatever color of shoe that takes your fancy, but it's down to how you like to dress and in one of the next videos i'll be showing you how to actually tie the wrapper because this is another issue that lots of people struggle with and that's why they don't like to dress the african way and i'm talking about africans i'm not even saying people who are not africans they struggle to tie this wrapper that they they would rather not dress this way and so they end up wearing things they really don't want to wear so for me i love it because i i i've made it my business to understand how this works I can tie this in so many glamorous ways and when you see me come out all dressed up like that you really think wow she's worth millions it's just the way we love to dress uh, we love our colors we love our glamour we love our elegance so I hope this video has helped someone out there who's been struggling with tying the headgear in particular There'll be so many more videos showing you different ways of tying the headgear and different headgear fabrics as well. So we hope we've been able to help you. So email us. We have the one email that we really respond to quick and it's info at worldofbraiding.com or joy at worldofbraiding.com. We'll be happy to support you on this issue and many other issues that we brought to your notice. Um, where to buy these things, just let us know what color, just let us know jewelry shoes bags whatever and the fabrics in particular is something i have a huge passion for so i know how to go about it i'll be more than happy to help so thank you for watching and see you in the next video